The late co-founder of HTS, Valerie Albert Favrier, was renowned as a media manager. But the trailblazer who broke the glass ceiling as a business owner also had a profound impact on local culture and entertainment. From groundbreaking concert promotions to festivals and events, she was instrumental in taking careers of burgeoning acts to national prominence. Miss Albert had a successful run in the world of pageantry, leading HTS as a corporate sponsor in capturing a number of crowns as title sponsors, including two national pageants. 2017 National Carnival Queen Miss HTS Chancy Fontenelle is included in the exhaustive list of young St. Lucians who benefited from the tutelage of the media maven, which was manifested with the pageant guru Lady J in the fold on a humid Sunday night in July 2017. Extremely proud of our contestants. She did well. What I like about Chansey is that she's very matured, very matured despite her young age, and she takes instructions very well. That is great. And that always helps. I'll tell you one, of the, one I'll tell you, one of the plans is to take her to the different schools. We want to do a lot of outreach work and social work, and there are quite a few other interesting ones. But I'll keep it secret for the time being. Fontenelle, who is in the U.S., spoke of the profound impact of the guiding hand of Miss Albert on her life. Miss HTS Radio 100 Chancy Fontenelle secured the Best Talent Award on her way to being crowned National Carnival Queen in 2017. Valerie Albert Favrier welcomed the multi-talented creative to the HTS Radio 100 family with open arms. It's an experience. A young Chancy remains eternally grateful. I would like to state that I was only able to wear the sash as Miss HTS Radio 100 because of Mrs. Valerie Albert. Out of many contestants, she selected me to represent such a prestigious media entity and she continuously showed her support. Her sponsorship, her nurturing and encouraging personality, all of these qualities from her acted directly as a pillar for my success. And so to say that she had a huge impact on my life and my accomplishments, it's honestly an understatement, especially because many opportunities arose from my victory in 2017, which directly benefited me. A disconsolate Fontenelle extended sympathies to the entire HTS clan and the extended family tree, whose long branches extend far beyond the shores of the island with many an alumni of the storied institution resident throughout the world. For the past four years, we maintained a very sound and beautiful relationship. And all I can say is that her impactful memory will forever be held near to my heart. I would also like to extend my condolences to her husband, her son, and the rest of her family and friends, and also to the HTS Radio 100 family. And I do pray that you all are comforted during this time. The death of Miss Valerie Albert Favrier has not just left the local media fraternity in mourning, but the exponents of other attendant disciplines and the sectors, including charities and the corporate world, stunned and grief-stricken. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.